there's something lurking in the shadows of Grafton Campus. Something terrifying. That's right. Grafton is infested with vampires. And the worst part, it's impossible to tell the difference between vampires and normal people. Whatever are we going to do? Luckily, two new lecturers have arrived at Grafton and I think they can help identify the vampires. Meet Dr. Abraham Van Helsing and Dr. Heinz Doofensmirch. I have a test that can detect vampires with 80% accuracy, says Dr. Van Helsing. That's garbage. I have a test that can detect vampires with 97% accuracy, says Dr. Doofensmirch. Clearly, Dr. Doofensmirch's test is better, and that's the video. Thanks for watching. Hang on. Something doesn't seem quite right. Dr. Doofenshmirtz's 97% accurate test is clearly better. Or is it? Let's have a closer look at the methods each lecturer employs to identify vampires. Dr. Van Helsing tests for vampires by throwing garlic at each person at Grafton campus. If they flinch, they're a vampire. Now we know that every vampire will flinch when you throw garlic at them. But also, a lot of normal people don't like garlic, and they too will flinch when you throw garlic at them. Dr. Doofenshmirtz tests for vampires by saying that everyone is not a vampire. What a genius test! Because vampires are so rare in the general population, by saying that everyone is not a vampire, you can get close to 100% accuracy. This test is, of course, completely useless. Clearly. Accuracy, on its own, isn't a very good way to judge how good a test is. Therefore, let's look at two better measures of how good a test is. Sensitivity and Specificity. Sensitivity, also known as recall, is the proportion of positives that are correctly identified by a test. In other words, it describes how sensitive a test is for positives. In this case, the sensitivity of each test is the proportion of vampires that each test identifies. In Van Helsing's test, all three vampires flinch when you throw garlic at them. This means the sensitivity of the test is 3 out of 3, 100%. In Doofenshmirtz's test, all three vampires test negative. This means that the sensitivity of this test is 0 out of 3, 0%. Specificity is the exact opposite of sensitivity. It is the proportion of negatives that are correctly identified by a test. In other words, it describes how specific that test is for what it is testing for. In this case, the specificity of each test is the proportion of non-vampires that each test correctly identifies as not being a vampire. In Van Helsing's test, of the 97 non-vampires, 20 flinch when you throw garlic at them, and 77 do not. This means that the specificity of this test is 77 over 97, 79%. In Doofenshmirtz's test, none of the 97 non-vampires test positive. This means that the specificity of the test is 97 over 97, 100%. So, what do we do with this information? Van Helsing's test has a sensitivity of 100% but a specificity of 79%. And Doofenshmirtz's test has a sensitivity of 0% but a specificity of 100%. Whose test is better? Well, you really have to think about the context. It's nice to have a test with both high sensitivity and high specificity, but often there's a trade-off between them. In a context where you want to minimize the number of false positives, Often it's good to maximize specificity. However, if you're in a situation where you really don't want to miss a positive, like most screening tests, you'd probably rather maximize sensitivity. In this situation, it would be pretty dangerous to miss any vampires. Therefore, it's probably better to go with high sensitivity and use Dr. Van Helsing's test. At this point, it's worth looking at positive predictive value, PPV also known as precision. It's calculated by taking the number of true positives over all those who test positive on a test. 
in this case, everyone who flinched when garlic was thrown at them. In this case, the PPV is 13%. This is fairly low, as you can see. Only 13% of people who flinch when garlic is thrown at them are actually vampires. At this point, we have a few options. We could quarantine everyone who tests positive, which means we'll quarantine a lot of normal people, but also ensure that every vampire is quarantined. We could also do further tests on these 23 positives to figure out who the three vampires are. This is a common approach to screening. A cheap screening test with high sensitivity but low positive predictive value is applied to an entire population, and then a more expensive test with higher positive predictive value is applied to those who tested positive on the cheap screening test. So let's summarize. We looked at a few different measures of diagnostic test accuracy. Sensitivity, the true positives over the total number of people with the condition. Specificity, the true negatives over the total number of people without the condition and positive predictive value, true positives over the total number of people who tested positive. These measures are incredibly important, and are not just used in diagnostic tests in medicine, but also other areas, like machine learning. Okay, that's it. See you next time. If you like this video, please subscribe for more exciting content from the University of Auckland AI and Medicine Association.